Um, this is a deep one. Okay, so Kevin, Sage is Kevin. Jamie, everybody. Kevin's sister, Katie, um, started private Facebooking me that her son Tyler's best friend got killed in a car accident on the 29th. So what is that? Almost three weeks ago in Las in Huntington Beach. He lives in Vegas, but it looks like they probably went for spring break or something. So three kids got killed by a 28 year old mom. The mom's fine. She has four kids and she's walking free on bail. She was drunk driving and she killed three kids. And his name is Dylan Mack. Dylan, are you around? Have you crossed over? Dylan Mack? I have a feeling he hasn't crossed over all the way. He's here. Okay. Directly behind me. Okay, boy, is he a cutie. Uh, he just turned 18. Um, we got some questions for you, kiddo. Okay. I was trying to find a picture so I can show Jamie. Um, anyways, are you okay? Have you fully crossed over, Dylan? <laughs> um, Griffin says, just tell Jamie he's cute like in a boy band. Yeah, I can't he, see it. Can't see it. He's, he's young looking, very young. And then Dylan goes, oh, he was kind of like a bit Look, per perturbed that he mentioned a boy band. Yeah. <laughs> but he's cute he's like that. Dressing. Dylan, you're just a good looking kid. Yeah. He's a, he has a very young look. Oh, he's standing right behind me, so I really can't get a glimpse. Okay, okay. Um, so, are you okay, Dylan? Oh my God. He's like whispering in my ear. Hey. Um, tell him you can just talk normal, just talk like he's standing there. He says, tell everybody we've crossed over. Everything's okay. fine. We had help. That wasn't okay. supposed to happen. Okay. That wasn't in our plan. It wasn't in a contract. No, that was an accident. Like that was Wrong overlapping contract. of, yeah, um, storylines. Um, but he says we're crossed over. Okay. Here's some questions for your mom from your mom, sweetheart. As you can imagine, she's having some hard time and this is a big deal that's going on. They haven't even had your funeral because the sperm donor for you is now fighting for your ashes. And I was, yes, right, always. How do you feel about that? And I guess you had never met him before and he had to sign your death papers and all of a sudden he wanted your ashes. Um, but your stepdad who raised you, I guess, is what I'm assuming, was gonna legally adopt you in a couple weeks and now you, you died. So the, it's a hold up for your funeral because he's fighting for your ashes. How do you feel about that? They want to know. The sperm donor. Um, he's kind of hunched over. He's got his hand up on his forehead. He's like, oh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. Right. I don't, I don't know what I feel like. I don't think that they need to be fighting over this. Can't they just split it in half? Can't they just half this? Can't they just? Okay. So should I tell his mom, just give him half? Yeah, can't you and just so that they can it? bury him and stuff? Yes. He, he was like, everybody, you know, you, you, when he gets flustered, man, he gets flustered with his right. words. Uh, right. um, everybody has to say goodbye, you know, the way they need to say goodbye. Like, I think I, I, I don't know if I understand, but I, I think if I had a kid and that they were, you know, mine, like, I want to say something too, so... I don't have to be together. That that doesn't make me a whole person in the afterlife. Okay. You know, so much chaos has happened now, and he goes, "I'm I'm here." Kind of holds out his hands, like. So tell um, your mom that that doesn't affect you in any way. That you're still with her. That has nothing to do with the price of tea in China. <laughs> oh my God, these guys! I'm gonna say this, but th I, don't tell her this. I won't. They're just cutting up. Right. Young. Well, we're, we're, we're a little farther along than she is. I'll put it very gently, don't worry. Okay. Griffin goes, man, Dylan, you better take your, better tell your mom to get the ashes, you know, from your waist up. Right. <laughs> like, because that's going to matter. And like, Dylan starts cutting up, but Griffin delivered it so serious. Like, that's going to matter quite a bit. 
like, you're such an asshole. That is funny though. <laughs> if you don't laugh in this life though, you'll die. I swear you gotta laugh and she'll get there. She'll get there. But it's only been a couple of weeks, so I can tell her that. But, or I'll get socked in the face. Yeah. Like, Griffy goes, maybe this is sick, bad humor for later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 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 But this guy's laughing. I know, right? Good, Dylan. I'm and glad you're laughing. Yeah, okay. he's not really stuttering his words anymore. Okay. So your mom wrote all these questions. So let's okay. do them off. Did you know what? Did you know what is or was happening? I guess. Did you know what was happening when you died? Did you feel pain? I'm putting two questions together. So. They. He did not die instantly. He remembers the car wreck. Okay. He remembers the impact. Okay. Um, that was an intense impact. There's turning and rolling. Okay. So I, I don't know the details of it exactly, but it's, it looks like this. Okay. Um, and then he's out of his body. Okay. He doesn't recall any of the pain. He remembers the fear, the confusion and trying to react, but he's not in control. Okay. So if he's not in control, he's probably not the driver. No, I doubt it. Yeah. I don't know that answer, but I doubt it. Okay. I don't get the feeling he was the driver. That's weird. I didn't feel to ask that question, so I don't think so. Okay. So, uh, so did you feel pain? Because every mom always wants to know that. No, no, no. Just the total fear and confusion took over everything. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can you see me? Can you yes. see mom? Okay. Are you with me? With your mom? Yes. Okay. Are you in a better place? Ooh, we pause on this one. You got to be careful how you answer that to your mom. Griff was very delicate how he answered that to me. Oh, were you? So good. He goes, I haven't seen enough of it, but the way that I feel, I know that I'm in a good place. Okay. I don't know if I'm in the position of saying it's better than or less than. Okay. Okay. So maybe you come back to me in a couple of weeks, kid. Yeah. You just got there. Okay. Um, do you feel pain now and are you at peace? Yeah. He feels no pain. Okay. At peace? Yes. He says, that's odd. He didn't slow down enough to even think about that. Okay. So you're bringing it to his attention. Okay. How can I help you? How can your mom help you? Is there anything I can do for you? Do you do stuff for me? <laughs> it will, uh, thanks Griffin. Griffin's explaining the question. Okay. So Dylan says, no, I, I don't think there's anything that you can do. Okay. Uh, I want, I want them to be at peace. I've never seen He's leaning in and he does this kind of whisper thing. I've never seen my mom so angry. Yeah, well, I think the sperm donor has her in court stopping the funeral and stuff. I think it's like a big to do. This is a feeling I get. Now, this is all by text, but these are my feelings. And I'm just going with my gut. I don't know why she has to be so stubborn. Right. It's okay to let go of half. Right. Yeah, Dylan, you know, if I could talk to your mom, I would tell her that. And I'm going to put this message through as delicate as I can. But also the legal system, like the lady who hit you is walking free. That's not a good feeling. You can talk to Griffin about that. But you just have to let the universe handle that because our legal system is like, Ooh, not good. And that doesn't bring you back. And your mom will come to that. But it's just so new right now. You know? He says, I have no idea how the rest of this year is going to go. I'm worried so that angry. she'll lose herself. Your I don't mom? Think she'll, yeah, he says, yeah. I don't think she'll ever be able to get back to the person she was. Well, she won't, but she has to stay alive because you have three siblings, I think. So she has no choice. 
But let's hope she puts the anger down. He says, um, don't tell my mother she doesn't have a choice. <laughs> yeah, she's a now, huh? Ooh, that fires her up. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So are you with your family? He goes, all of them? I think she means, do you have family over there? I don't know. Because uh, she said, are you with you, your friends? How can you fulfill you? How can I fulfill your last wishes? Yeah, yeah. He's, um, he's seen his family on the other side. Okay. He's not really with them 24 seven. Okay. The one of the guys are in the car is a closer friend to him. Okay. The other one is more like a, uh, how do you say like great friend, good friend? Yeah, acquaintance, good friend, great friend, but not as close as the other one. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so they check in quite a bit, those okay. two guys. Okay. And um, they're kind of comparing notes and what's going on. Okay. But as of now, he's really hunkered into his parents and the parental situation. Trying to help because, them. Because, yeah, that's uneasy. He doesn't want them to be upset over that. Like, be upset over his death. Right. And what's happened, but right. over the right to Not the side circus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I love you, Dylan. Show me a sign you're with me. Can you? What symbol represents you? What sign should I look for to know you're with me? What is your favorite animal? That's random. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Yes, he can give signs. Griffin says that he would help. Okay. Dylan, learn, you know, how to do that, especially with light, showing yes. up in a light form on orb or in photographs. Okay. So that's going to be learned. Okay. Um, if he were able to pick what to give you, Dylan says he'd give you money. So we're looking at pennies, quarters, dimes. He's going okay. for change for some reason rather than okay. dollar bills. Can you give your mom like hundred dollar bills? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. And, like um, how you find change around, like I'll find it all the time when I get out of my car or something like that. Yeah, That's where sign. it's not yeah. supposed to be, like after you've made the bed and then you look and there's a dime. Okay. Like it's just not supposed to be there. Okay, that'll be the, like one of the first signs he'll try to start with. Yeah, okay. he likes that. He's heard okay. of it from others as well. Okay. And oddly enough, he's talking about elephants as being one of his favorite animals. Okay, perfect. And um, using that as a symbol. Apparently, they mean quite a bit, especially back around his transition. Yeah, and he's knows. saying to research it. Okay. Um, Tyler, was he one of your best friends? That's Katie's son that's here. They both got tattoos for you, by the way. Did you see that? Sweet. <laughs> yeah, right? And were you... Um, were you around Tyler the other night with your parents? Yes. And if so, what were you doing? Um, he was trying to get Tyler's attention. Okay. So there was a lot of um, energy pushing. There was signs Okay. Um, that he was trying to get through. The um, tattoos, the boys were laughing back and forth. Dylan apparently is very grateful that it's not a portrait tattoo. <laughs> he doesn't know if he could live having his portrait on somebody's body. <laughs> mm -hmm. Kind of morbid. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, okay. And one more for your friend, Tyler, who considers himself your best friend. Can you ask him what his favorite memory of you mm -hmm. and Tyler is? And... Um, Okay, do you have a favorite memory of you and Tyler? I'm sneaking out somewhere. <laughs> um, like with the it. two of them going to meet up somewhere. It's dark. I know I'm outside because I can see grass. Okay. I want to say it's nice grass, like how you would have nice grass on a, a golf course or a football field or a, you know how they keep it so groomed? Yes. It's, nice, it's grass like that. So I feel like it's, would I even call that sports related? I wonder yeah. if they played baseball together or something. Because I think Tyler played baseball, but I don't know if he continued as he got older. 
He's the cutest little boy, but yeah. They're laughing so hard and they're going somewhere where they're not supposed to be. Okay. And it's all in good fun. It's not like um, harmful. Right. It's not like drinking and underage no. driving. It's not that feeling. This is like, um, okay. Tyler it's planned. Okay. It's planned. And I want to say that we're meeting somebody. I don't know if it's a girl. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Could be. Um, but it's definitely, they're not memories at school. He doesn't flash through any of those. Okay. Well, I wouldn't either. I hated school. <laughs> Poor Marshawn. I know. Isn't there a rewind button we can give you like a good experience at school with? Nah, next lifetime. Too late. <laughs> Too late. Um, what was I going to say? Okay, kiddo, Dylan, you're welcome to come anytime. And um, hopefully they'll have your funeral soon. Are you going to attend it? Yes. Good. He tells Griffin, he goes, is that it? Did I do okay? Oh, Griffin's like, beautiful. yeah, man. You're yeah. beautiful. I'm sorry that happened to you, but you know what? We're all just walking each other home and your mom will probably be there before you turn around. Mm. And your family, right? And He's you don't know it, but you have the better end of the stick. You just don't know it yet. You're too soon to be there. <laughs> Griffin he says, when I figure it out, maybe I'll come back and say hi. Right. Please do. Please do. And I hope you get to hang around Griff and you got to meet um, everybody. It's good for introduce you to people. And I want you to meet Christopher Gregoire because he's a special one to us too. And if you need help, my mom will help you. Griff will let my mom go anytime to help you. <laughs> That's funny because Griffin mentioned Christopher and maybe I'm about sure. two sentences before you did. Oh, really? Because you were like, oh, maybe, you, you know, get the show around. And he was like, hey, we've got, Chris? you know, a crew kind of yeah. building. Right. A lot of kids. A lot of kids. <laughs> I, in my head, I go, oh, Griffin, we should name it. Right? I know. Totally. And he was like, no, we're not going to name it. We're not the Lost Boys. We're nothing. We're not going to do that. And your mother goes, we've already named it. Mary Ann's Camp. Yes. <laughs> She's like, what are you talking about? I know, right? done this. I know. So my mom's the girl you go to if ever you want to talk to her or Griffin. They'll Your mom's waving? Yep. Like a really loose wave. I love you guys.